well with the nutrients and antioxidant qualities of cranberries. They've sort of earned a reputation of being called a superfruit. Yeah, toss that in with a little vino maybe. And Chef Franco is set to dish up another easy recipe for your holiday meal. That's where Craig Coffee is this morning at Parapuccini's Italian Bistro. Good morning. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Tim. Yes, uh, cranberry is good for you, the superfruit. Port wine. Oh, this is the super juice right now with Franco doing cranberries and a port wine sauce for Thanksgiving. Franco, good morning. How are you? How are you doing? Listen, this is just easier than going and getting it out of a can. I'm going to show you right now. You take your cranberries, you put them in the pan. Okay. And then you're done. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> much it, right? <laughs> then sugar. Oh, yeah. Now, we're doing side dishes for Thanksgiving, yeah. any holiday meal. Yeah, a little Change bit of water. Change it up just a bit, because everyone has the turkey. You know the turkey. You know, the turkey is easy. The only thing you got to worry about the turkey is overcooking it or undercooking it. Okay. You know, and, and making sure you take the, the bags out. That's the hardest part is taking out the organ bags, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little fresh ground nutmeg going in there. Mm. All right. little cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Once again, all these recipes will be up on the website at coloradoconnection.com by the afternoon. Leave the cinnamon sticks whole because you want to take it out afterwards. Okay. A little zest of like a lemon or an orange. Now, can you just keep adding different stuff that you like in here? Or yeah, you know, I was actually thinking about putting some chili flakes in there to give it a little bit of a zing. Okay. You know, get a little wow. bit of spicy and sweet going. Okay. All right, a little ground nutmeg. All right, you let this go. Add a little bit of port wine. Use all of it. There you go. Where'd the rest of this go, man? This is a half full <laughs> bottle We've when been off, I started this morning. We've man. been off for a while. <laughs> I, li I like to okay. see the human resource department about, you know, <laughs> Craig in the morning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and tell us, how do you make your, because it's starting to bubble up now, yep. it's starting to simmer here. How do you get the sauce to be nice and thick? Listen, you're going to let this, you're going to let this reduce to like a, a syrup. Okay. And then you're going to add some cornstarch and water and make like a slurry. Okay. And you put that in there when this, the. The cranberries will start to burst and bubble. And you, then you put it in the dish and let it sit. And then it'll get nice and it'll be like nice and thick. Nice cranberry relish or chutney, whichever you prefer to call it. Now, this is another thing you can make the night before. Okay. Put it in the refrigerator. Done. And then it's done and you can pull it out and put it on the table. It's almost as easy as opening the can of that goopy stuff. Fantastic. It's so easy to make here. Again, the recipes online this afternoon with us. We'll have more, including we're talking Italian sausage stuffing. Mm. Not too bad. Oh. Come, oh, yeah. That's, that oh, yeah. Like a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's coming up, guys. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I'll take that. Yes, thanks, man. Let's